Hi all, welcome to the complete JavaScript beginner tutorial by Code Affection. In this session, we are going to discuss about variables, declarations, and identifiers in JavaScript. Consider you are meeting someone special for the first time. You both introduce each other with your beautiful names and then you by heart their name so that when you meet them next time, you can greet them with their name like Hi Trevor, Hi Alex, etc. If you don't remember their name from last meeting, you will ask their name again in future. So a name is important, it helps us to recognize people among us easily. Same thing is true in programming also. We need to associate names to things which we frequently needed in our program. In JavaScript, there are various types of elements to be named. One of them is variable. You could think of variable as a container that hold information. They provide a way of labeling data with descriptive names. Let's define a JavaScript variable first. So here is my VS Code editor. Within it, I have opened my JavaScript note-taking project. If you want to know how to benefit from these JavaScript notes here, I have made a separate video. Link is there in video description and inside the art card top right corner. Now back to the topic. We'll be writing JavaScript code within this common practice file here and it will be executed within this file index.html. Currently we are running this project within this web browser using the VS Code extension live server. For now you could ignore these interface or controls here and let's focus on this console window to see the output for JavaScript code writing within this common practice file here. Now let me show you how to define a variable. Let amount that's it so here we have defined or created a variable amount to declare javascript variables like this we'll be using keywords like let at the beginning we will talk about such keywords in next session now the process of creating a variable is called declaration okay declaration and this statement is called as declaration statement so far we have created a variable called amount now let's assign a value into it. So amount is equal to five bucks. Now we have just stored the data value five into the variable. The process of assigning initial value to a variable is called as initialization. Don't be confused with these terms. Through declaration, we create a new variable and the process of assigning initial value into it is called as initialization. Here, keep in mind that as the name variable suggests, the value inside them may vary during the program execution. We're gonna see that later. Now, when we create and store data into a variable, in terms of memory allocation, the data will be stored somewhere in memory, say the location address is 1000. The value 5 will be stored here in this memory location and it will be labeled as amount. So amount is pointing to this address 1000. Here variable allows us to label the memory slot with a meaningful name like amount. It makes the code more readable. By the way, you don't have to worry about memory addresses while creating variables. I'm just explaining these things to let you know what happens behind the scene. So again, variable is a container to hold information and they are labeled with a name. Most of the time, we combine both declaration and initialization in a single line as follows. For that, I will declare a new variable, total amount. So here we have declared the variable, at the same time I will initialize that with 100. So both initialization and declaration is done within a single line. This is what we are going to do in most of the case. So far we have discussed what is a variable and what is a declaration in JavaScript. Now I want to add few more points here. JavaScript is case sensitive, means uppercase and lowercase letters are treated as distinct. For example, let's consider following variable declarations. So here we have the variable address. You will be seeing errors like this while typing our code here because the extension live server will be reloading this page whenever we make changes within this project here. So that's fine. Now let's initialize this address variable with some random address like this. Okay, so here we have the variable address and we have initialized that with a random address. Now, let me create one more address variable like this address. But this time I will replace this lowercase a with uppercase a and let's initialize that here 
with a different address. This time I will change the address like this. Here two variables will be created because there is a difference in first letter. If first variable is stored in memory address say 2000, second variable will be somewhere uh, 2100th location. So that's what we meant by case sensitivity in JavaScript. Now if you replace this uppercase A with lowercase A, you could see an error here. Uncode syntax error identifier address has already been declared. Now JavaScript finds both the variable names as equivalent. Variables created through let keyword can't be repeated. More about let keyword will be discussed in next session. So I hope you understood what we meant by case sensitivity in JavaScript. Now within the error message, you could see this term identifier. So what is an identifier? Let me change this to uppercase A. So identifier is a sequence of characters in code used to name elements within our program. Here the elements includes variables that we currently working with and there are other JavaScript elements that can be named like variables such as functions, properties, etc. All of them will be discussed in future sessions. So the name of JavaScript elements like variable, function, property, etc. are collectively known as identifier. So this amount is an identifier and this total amount is also an identifier and these two address variations are also identifiers. Before concluding this session, let's discuss rules for naming identifiers in JavaScript. So we are going to discuss how to name a variable and these rules are same for rest of the identifiers also like function, property, etc. There are three rules for naming identifier. First one, it can have unicode letters digits from 0 to 9 and special characters dollar and underscore. For now just understand this, Unicode letters consist of English alphabetic letters from A to Z and letters in other languages also. We will discuss that in a bit. Now the second rule, it can't begin with digits from 0 to 9. And final rule, identifier can't be an existing JavaScript keyword like let. Actually, there are plenty of keywords like let with some predefined meaning in JavaScript. So we can use them for naming identifiers. Now, let's go through some examples for valid identifiers. So amount, of course, it's a valid identifier because it only consists of English alphabetic letters. Now, if you prefix the same with underscore or dollar sign, it's also a valid identifier. As per the first rule, apart from these, we can have digits from 0 to 9 also. So amount 1, 2, 3 is also a valid identifier. But it's not possible to start an identifier with a digit. Let's discuss such invalid identifiers here. Now if you name a variable like 1 amount, it's not a valid identifier because it is starting with digit. Now what about this identifier here? It is also invalid because this pound symbol is not allowed in identifier. The only special characters allowed in identifier are dollar sign and underscore. Okay? And what do you think about this identifier here? It's also invalid. A JavaScript keyword as it is is an invalid identifier. It already has some meaning in JavaScript. So it's not possible to declare a variable with this name let. If we add other valid characters into it, it's allowed. But the keyword as it is, is not allowed as an identifier. You could check any of these invalid identifier here. So I'm trying to create a variable with an invalid identifier. So here we have busted, invalid or unexpected token. Okay, that's all about rules for naming identifiers. Now, some of you might be thinking, what the hell is Unicode letters? I'm sorry to say this, it's a big topic, this video won't be enough to explain it. For now, I have given an article link in video description where Unicode character representation is discussed in great depth with the context of JavaScript. You could check that later. So long story short, within this first rule, with Unicode letters, we meant letters in languages across the world. In English, we have alphabetic letters from A to Z in both lowercase and uppercase. So 26 plus 26 total 52 letters. As per the first rule in identifier, we can also include alphabetic letters in other languages that Unicode supports. 
Usually we don't do that in our course, but it is possible. Let's try that by creating address variable in other languages. I think it will be fun too. So let's search for the word address in other languages. So I search for the word address in Japanese. So I found this. Let's create a variable with it. And let's initialize that here. So here we have the uh, Japanese version. And let's try this with Hindi also. So here we have the word corresponding to address. And let's create a variable with it. Now if you want to print the message within this variable, we could do this console.log. It's not easy to type this word. So I will copy this and paste it here. Boom. So it works. So I think it's not easy to work with these variables declared in non-English language. But it is possible to do since uh, identifiers allows unicode letters in them. That's all for now. In next session, we will discuss about keywords used for declaring variables. They are let, var, and const. For more awesome videos like this, please consider subscribing to this channel, Code of Fiction. And please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you in next session.